Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We are talking the DJI GO Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus today. So DJI released a new firmware update for the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus here just a few days ago on uh, Christmas Day, December 25th, 2017. Uh, the version is version 01.05.0300. Now, they have three new items listed in the What's New. Uh, the most important one, really, is that they've added the panorama features to the uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Now, these are the same uh, panorama features that they've uh, implemented first in the Spark and then in the Mavic Pro, and now they have added to the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Now, they say that those panorama features are only available in DJI GO 4.1.20. So for you guys on Android, uh, you're going to have to have a little bit of patience because they have not released the dot .20 version of DJI GO 4 yet for the Android uh, as of this recording. So uh, hopefully they'll get you that uh, version soon. But for those of you guys on uh, iOS, uh, you can start playing around with the panorama feature uh, today. So they have implemented the same uh, panorama features for the uh, Phantom 4 Pro as they have implemented for the uh, Mavic Pro and the Spark. Uh, they have implemented four of them. Uh, first one is the vertical panorama, which is uh, really uh, taking three pictures, uh, one straight ahead, one above, one below. Uh, they've implemented a horizontal panorama, which is basically nine pictures that uh, uh, covers an area kind of like this, right, across horizontally. They've implemented a 180 degree panorama, right, which goes from, uh, you know, side to side. The center of that picture is going to be where you start off your panorama. And they have also implemented the sphere. Now, the sphere is the one that, you know, a lot of you guys have uh, seen pictures of uh, in the past few months with the implementation first on the Spark, and it gives you a lot of different capabilities. You can really take that uh, that sphere look, uh, where it looks like a little miniature globe. You can do a lot of things with that different with that sphere. And I think uh, the the number of pictures for the Phantom Four is a bit different than it is for the uh, Spark. I think it's maybe the same as it is for the Mavic Pro, which I think is around 34 pictures. And that 180 degree panorama I think is about 21 pictures that it takes with the uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Now one of the exciting things uh, for having this implemented on the Phantom 4 versus Phantom 4 Pro versus the Mavic Pro and the uh, Spark is of course the uh, greatly improved uh, video camera on the Phantom 4 Pro over the Mavic Pro and the Spark. It has much higher quality, so uh, you're gonna get very likely much higher quality panoramas as well. So uh, if you, those of you guys who've been using your Spark or your Mavic Pro that also have a Phantom 4 Pro, uh, now you guys can play around with those and make some beautiful pictures. Now, in addition to the panorama features, they also mentioned that they've optimized geozone management. Now, this is always something that is a bit controversial for uh, owners of DJI uh, drones because this is what restricts where you can and can't fly. So hopefully they're making it easier on us, but uh, you know how that works. It doesn't necessarily always get easier for us, right? Uh, so uh, it will be interesting to see how that plays out, if they've made it uh, much more difficult for pilots to fly or not in different areas. They also say that they fixed a rare issue where progress could stall during gimbal auto calibration. Now, uh, hopefully that's something that uh, uh, it fixes a, a problem that uh, some of you guys are having. Now, uh, you know, is it going to fix everything that you guys are having problems with? No, absolutely not. Uh, I would say unless you're really having the, uh, the issue with the gimbal auto calibration uh, or you really need the, the panorama features, if you're not going to play around with that, then, you know, is this something that you really need to, to uh, uh, update or not? Maybe not, right? If you're not going to use that panorama, that's really the big uh, uh, update for this firmware upgrade so if you don't if you're not looking at that and you don't have the uh, gimbal auto calibration uh, maybe you want to think twice about updating it but uh, uh, that's up to you i know a lot of you guys with phantom 4 pros are uh, a bit more serious about your photography and maybe using it to uh, earn a bit of money uh, maybe more so than those of you guys who have uh, sparks 
And so, uh, you know, just uh, make sure you're aware of uh, what you're getting into. And uh, I would ha always highly recommend checking into the forums uh, at uh, forum.dji.com uh, to see what issues other people are having. And just because other people are having issues doesn't mean you're going to run into issues. But, uh, you know, it's always good to be informed. All right. Hope you're having a great day. Hope this was useful. Uh, and we will catch you on another video soon. Take care.